Hey there. I had a colleague reach out to ask me today. It's, it's an Instariza user, and he wants to know what are my thoughts on Instariza versus MediSmile. Now, when I think about Instariza, Instariza is an entire workflow, and, and those guys are great. They're very innovative. It's an excellent way to get precise implant location uh, without, without photogrammetry. You know, I, personally, I'm a photogrammetry guy. I'm an iCam user, and I believe that is the best way, best consistent, easy to use way to capture uh, implant position. That being said, I think Instariza certainly has a place. I, I think that if uh, you're not gonna go the route of photogrammetry, Instariza certainly works day in and day out in offices all over the country and really all over the world. I see them doing great things down in Guatemala. Uh, with you know, with Instariza, doing a, a high volume of cases, uh, with uh, with good results, with very reputable doctors using their workflow. But this video focuses more on the facial scanner. So, for Instariza, I, I would say a definite advantage of Instariza and their scanner is the quality of the mesh. I, I can I know doctors who use that mesh for jaw jaw relation. So in order to do that, you've got to have an accurate, accurate scan and accurate data of, of the upper and lower jaw uh, in space together. And to be able to align that to your intraoral scans uh, to get your jaw relation and carry that through your case. The downside, in my opinion, of the Instariza scanner is the flashing strobe lights. I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, we use that in our office and it's the patients have to close their eyes. Uh, my assistants really didn't didn't enjoy cap making that capture. That being said, I know a lot of offices do that and uh, without problems. But when I look at the images in ExoCAD to align everything, uh, the the eyes scrunch together. I know you can use the inner canthus. I really just love having the pupils, and I love having the a good quality scan of the ears. So. For me, the strobe light and closing the eyes is really was kind of a deal breaker for me in the beginning. Um, I don't know the currently, it's been a few years since I've used Sensoriza. You did have to calibrate it and, uh, every time you use it and, and do your capture in a low light room, which in my office was a little bit tough just with the setup we have with the windows and everything. And my team, really, I never really got full buy-in on that scanner. Now that being said, again, it's a high quality scanner. It certainly um, does an excellent job when used appropriately. That was just my experience. We also, we didn't face scan for a while. Then we got a Vectra scanner. Now the Vectra scanner, it's good. It's, it's used for plastic surgeons a lot. So the focus was more on more of a macro view and getting before and after pictures of the face, planning surgeries. They can use it for other parts of the body that are gonna receive plastic surgery. We used that for a while and, and it was okay. We had to get retracted pictures, uh, match everything up with the face. And uh, it was all right, but my designer, Austin, you know, he, he never really loved the meshes that he was getting. So plus for the Vectra was that you could see the eyes and the ears uh, really well. Downside, the mesh of the teeth, it was okay. You know, we were getting there, but uh, not, uh, not great. And in, in, uh, the capture did require, um, it's the camera, you can look it up. It's, it's more of an SLR type camera tethered to the computer. Um, so it was, it, was, it was certainly functional. We enjoyed using it, uh, but I would definitely not even consider it uh, versus the Medi Smile. So in, in this discussion, it would be, in my mind, either something like the InstaRiza scanner or the MediSmile. So if you want to use your intraoral scanner for jaw relation, I would say you know, the, that the InstaRiza may be the direction you go. It's, it's uh, certainly great at that. Uh, if you would like to capture hair, facial hair, pupils, and I think that Instariza does a pretty good job with the ears. Uh, I don't know how it does when there's a beard between the face and the ears. Uh, 
but I can speak more to the Medismile because we're using that now and we're using and we're using it every day. So if, if you want a, a good clean capture of, of the whole face with the eyes open, uh, I think the Medismile is a good choice. So another an advantage for the Medismile for me versus really any other facial scanner that we've used is that so far uh, with the scans we've done, we've been able to just do one facial scan. And that facial scan has been taking about, let's see, it's been taking less than 10 seconds once it's set up. So we like to put the Medismile, we've got some YouTube videos on the workflow, but we put that Medismile on uh, a monopod, uh, it's a Siriu, I'm using one right now for this, S-I-R-U-I, -I, a monopod that I get off of Amazon. We mount it right to that pole and we've been leaving it on there uh, just with a cable uh, with a strap around it. So we set up our software, put that in front of the patient's face, give them a few directions, and the capture itself takes about 10 seconds. Lighting doesn't seem to matter. Normal office lighting is fine. Uh, it doesn't require any calibration. Uh, let's see. And that's, and that's pretty much it. The mesh that we get, and you can see it, I've got some videos posted. If, if uh, I, don't, I don't know if I have them on my channel. If not, if I could give you a link to those or um, I'll, I'll, I'll see about getting one of those videos on my channel as well. But so again, for us in my office, hands down, I love the Medify, Medify scanner or Medi Smile Scanner. It's been great. It's quick to set up. It's easy to train new team members on. The mesh has been more than sufficient for our goals, which our goal is not to relate the jaws with the scanner. We have an excellent workflow for relating the jaws predictably and accurately with the intraoral scanner. So my goal is a beautiful scan of the face, with enough alignment of the teeth that I can accurately align the intraoral scans to, uh, to allow us to design. And again, what's our goal with an intraoral scanner? What's my goal? My goal is I want to be able to accurately line up the midline and I want to, and I want to see those pupils so I can make things parallel where they need to be perpendicular where they need to be. I want a clean picture of the ear because I want to get that a la tragus line and really that's it. That's what we use it for. And it's been more than sufficient for that. I don't know how much of a easier, better scanner at a good price point uh, that we could come across. So I definitely, if I was speaking to another doctor, well, these would be my recommendations. If they were doing my workflow specifically, I would hands down recommend uh, the MediSmile scanner. If you, uh, and one more statement just regarding InstaRiser versus MediSmile. Uh, you could certainly use the MediFile scanner, MediSmile scanner in the InstaRiser workflow, uh, just minus using the facial scanner for the jaw relation. So if you have a good workflow for getting your jaw relation with your intraoral scanner, if you don't, reach out. Uh, maybe, you know, we could do some training at Buller Dental, uh, but it's, uh, you could easily use the InstaRiser's intraoral capture uh, uh, strategies, uh, along with in MediFile, MediSmile, <laughs> gosh, I got to get that down, a MediSmile facial scanner. So anyway, I'd just like to share, this is just me sharing my honest opinion of my experiences. Um, I'm glad, always glad to see new innovation. I'm glad to see doctors who are out there educating others and, and, uh, ultimately, uh, I'm always happy to see people who are making workflows better, consistent, and uh, accurate to provide our patients with a, a great result. So I hope, uh, I hope this was helpful uh, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.